Thanks for joining me for this video update on the Christchurch Business Awards. We launched the awards on Tuesday the 15th of March at the Captain's Club Hotel in Christchurch. Uh, we had a great group of people there and the questions and, and, and the comments were fantastic. And over the next few minutes we're going to try and update you and tell you a little bit more about the awards so that you know everything that's going on and what the plan is. So let's now start with the first slide. We started uh, by outlining a six point promise. We're very much aware that um, there have been certain cases where necessarily local awards haven't always delivered exactly as they should. So we've come up with a six point promise. The first is that the awards are there to promote the range and quality of local business. That is absolutely vital. Uh, the point is, businesses have had a hard time, we've all been through COVID, and now we just need to let people know the quality and range of the businesses that are there. And this is a way to showcase those businesses. The second thing is entry is free. Businesses can enter or be nominated for as many categories as they want. So there's no restrictions there at all. The judging is completely independent um, and online with no outside influence. I've certainly been involved with awards in the past where you've had a, a group of judges and one of them is a bit more dominant than all the others and, and they, they, they start arguing their case and they swing all the other judges around. What we're trying to say is these awards are really independent. The judges don't even know who the other judges are. They get the entries, they vote on them um, out of 100, um, they send those votes in, they're put into a spreadsheet, it adds up all the judges' votes, and that's how we get to the winner. Uh, the next thing is there's got to be a category for every business. Uh, it's not something that specialises in a particular area. This is a category for every single business. There's one for everyone. Uh, local, local businesses will also have the chance to be involved by sponsoring a category um, at a fair price, not an exorbitant price. So the idea is that, that anybody who wants to get involved with the awards certainly can do. Uh, the award ceremony will be open to all and uh, again it's going to be held at the uh, 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 Captain's Club later this year um, in about five months from now, four and a half months from now and I'll give the dates in a few minutes. Um, the award ceremony is open to all and the cost to attend is just the cost to us. So it, again it's not something where it's a thousand pounds for a table. Um, it's what it costs us, we divide it by the number that we, we, we believe that will be there and that gives us our ticket price. So, so let's move to the next slide. Uh, there are some key dates for these awards. Um, the awards launch, as I just said, was on Tuesday the 15th of March. Uh, the website is now live, www.christchurchbusinessawards.co.uk uh, and anybody can enter. Entries are open via the website. You just go to that website and you click on um, enter or nominate. So if you want to nominate a business, you still can. One key point about nominations, nominations are not judged on the number, they are judged on what they say about the business. So it's not something where you can, you can campaign and get a hundred nominations and that helps you win. It's what those nominations say and they're treated exactly the same as a business entry. Uh, we've also got a LinkedIn group. Uh, and, and that's now open. So that LinkedIn group gets all the information about the awards as soon as it happens. So they get regular, regular latest news updates. Um, and anybody can join it. You just have to go onto LinkedIn, look up Christchurch Business Awards, and you can uh, uh, and, and you'll find the LinkedIn group. Um, entries close at two o'clock on Monday the sixteenth of May. Um, so there's still a nice lot of time. What is key? Um, and this has been recorded uh, just three, four working days since the launch, and already there are over 30 entries and nominations. So it just again shows the level of interest. And the award ceremony is on Tuesday the 28th of June, um, same venue, and on top of that it will also be live streamed. So there is no reason why um, anybody shouldn't watch those awards. Uh, now let's just cover the, uh, the categories as well. Um, the categories that we have, uh, just to show how we have this complete range, uh, they vary from uh, best place to work, uh, best use of innovation, um, that's got a slight digital angle, but it's businesses that have used the digital systems to actually innovate and help and improve their business. Cafe, pub and entertainment, excellence in customer service, employee of the year, 
green and eco business. Now, we've run other awards around the uh, uh, Dorset area, and three years ago, you hardly got an entry in that. Now, it's one of the biggest categories. Uh, family business, health, beauty and fitness, independent business of the year, uh, local artisans and produce, that's anybody who makes something in the area, um, uh, new business of the year, outstanding community support, uh, professional services business, um, and retail business of the year. So there's quite a range. And what then happens is we have the overall business of the year. Now, what happens with the judges is when they send their votes in, they also pick their first, second and third for that award, um, the overall business. And it's the one, uh, it, it, it's 10 points for a third, 20 for a second and 40 for a first place. So when they come, those judges' votes come in, we again, they're added up. Um, uh, and it tells us which of the entrants has got the highest number of votes there, and that was the overall business of the year. Moving on from there, um, I would like to thank our sponsors. Um, now already, now bear in mind, um, on um, certainly a week ago, we didn't have a sponsor. Um, we were really starting from scratch with these awards, but now we have such a full range. Uh, sponsors including uh, Bridge Health and Wellbeing, uh, Yellow Coaches, NFU Mutual, Dorset Biz News and the Captain's Club um, are also one of our sponsors. So it shows again the level of interest. We still have categories available. Um, by uh, my calculation, another two or three will go this week. Um, certainly two of them uh, uh, I'm sure about. So just watch this space because we'll be constantly updating that on the website as well. So that's really it from me. That tells you what we covered in the launch and now I'd like to actually just show a recording of what a few of the people that were there said. A lot more were recorded, but we only had time. We wanted to keep this to below um, around eight minutes long, this entire video. So we've only been able to pick a few of them, but we have got so many positive, fantastic comments. So these will come on now, and then that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you. Today. Well, I think we went really well. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to cover quite a few of these events now, Phil. And the great thing that always comes out from these events is the passion and the enthusiasm from the people who have actually listened. These are great awards. I really do encourage people to go and enter for them, because at the end of the day, you really do have to be in it to win it. So go on, do it now. Brilliant. And hopefully we will, um, we will be supporting the awards. It's been brilliant fun as ever. They always are such good fun to attend. And it's great that they've now reached BH23, and it's a fantastic way to celebrate and showcase businesses in the local area. Absolutely brilliant. It's great to be able to recognise grassroots businesses, so really looking forward to it. I think these particular rewards are a fantastic way to showcase the businesses in Christchurch. I think it's a great opportunity for all local businesses to be able to network together and to showcase all the business support within the area. I do. I think more are really important for businesses to be able to uh, look at what they've done, what they've achieved, and look at where they can go forward.